Welcome everybody. This is Bonnie, the web woman, and this is an experiment. Um, and I'm learning some things already and just in the process of getting this done. But uh, I think it's a good experiment because I'm going to be doing it a lot over the next little while. And as we go on, we're going to get a lot more polished at this and um, learn some new techniques and so forth and so on. And so as you all begin to gather, um, here's, here's what you should know about what's about to happen. Um, the cookie cutter group from now on is going to be done live on live streaming broadcast via YouTube and Google Plus. And it will be brought to you by your computer, my computer, and the internet connection in between. And the really wonderful thing about this is that this, when it's done, will be automatically uh, put onto YouTube. And I will be able to go in and I will be able to edit it and do all kinds of wonderful things to clean it up and make it nice. But for purposes of our cookie cutter group, we're going to um, have the opportunity to really get face to face and um, start doing some really, really fun and cool things. Um, so a little bit of housekeeping here at the beginning. Um, in the future, there will be an opportunity for you to participate live on the show and I'm going to give you some instructions on how to be able to do that um, and we will be able to have live guests which will be really really exciting and we're going to be able to show you some things online on how to do things in real time and these classes are for you the entrepreneur who is l learning how to market themselves online, and how to find more traffic for their websites, more interest in their product, and all the things that you need to know in order to promote yourself without basically losing all your friends. <laughs> and we've all, you know, been through that as we stumbled along the marketing path of trying to find that fine line between being able to actually promote what we're doing and not be offensive to other people and not cross over lines that we shouldn't. And on the internet there's some definite lines that you don't want to cross. But today's show and the exciting thing that's going on is we are going to be talking about how to have your own television station. Now I want to um, let you know that there are a couple of places that you can communicate with me during the show. At the Towards the end we will do our usual thing where we do questions and comments, but right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look away from the screen for just a second um, and I'll show you later on how you can manage to do this without having to look away from the screen, but for right at the moment I'm going to look away from the screen for a second and I'm going to go into the cookie cutter group. There we go. I'm right there on the cookie cutter group. So what you should know is down below this where if you're in the cookie cutter group watching this right now down below the player I'm going to pause that because I was getting an echo of myself here um, down below the player is is a box that says leave a reply okay where you can um, post comments there or if you're watching me in YouTube and let me go to YouTube so okay so Evidently, Bernadette is here, and um, so uh, that's what you're going to do. Go ahead and enter your comments um, live right underneath the player there on um, the cookiecuttergroup.com front slash cctv hyphen live, and that's how we're going to be able to get to your questions. So I am very, very excited to be able to do this presentation and I'm hoping that all of you will see the potential for what we're doing here. 
um, in the past when I did recordings for YouTube or whatever, um, I had to go through a whole process to do that. Now I can go ahead and do this in my little studio. We're going to talk about how you set up a studio and all that in just a moment. But this is something that you can do. And so what we're going to do is talk about, first of all, some of the um, whys. Why do you want uh, your own television um, channel? And the hows and how to make this simple and very inexpensive to do. And you don't need a huge space, a grand studio. You don't need expensive equipment. You don't need um, special streaming software or anything like this. It's all been handled for you. And the good news is, is this is like 99.99% free. Uh, a free tool is an exciting tool because what that means is that you can go ahead and you can then enrich that tool um, by spending a little bit on window dressing and that sort of thing. And then you can use other free tools out there to promote the free tool. And what we want to do is we want you to be able to ma maximize your marketing budget. And when I say maximize, I mean take what you could be spending on marketing and put a little do-it-yourself into it and really come out with professional products that really make a difference and do wonderful things for you. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go to our PowerPoint presentation here. And um, now um, this little business of me having to turn my head to um, away from you to see what I'm doing would be handled in another way and we're going to talk about that in a second but right now we're going to go to our um, PowerPoint presentation and um, and here we are and um, I'm going to bring that up and that, first of all, that's my little call sign logo, CCTV Live. Do you like it? This is so cool. Um, now I am officially my own television station. I have my own logo, and when, they, when people see this, they will know, just like when they see the peacock feathers, that that's, you know, whichever one that is. I don't know, is that NBC? <laughs> or, you know... Um, CBS is the I, you know, whatever. This is my little logo for CCTV Live. I threw it together in Photoshop. I'm sure that somebody could have done a more professional job, but I kind of like it. And um, what we're going to talk about today is, you know, this is an internet marketing tool review. And we will be, over time, once a month, we will be doing a, an internet marketing tool review. And that is a review of a tool that you can use to better promote your business, to organize your business, to um, more effectively automate your business, all of these things. And so each tool review that we do um, has its own little niche instead of trying to you know, go through and show you 15 tools and by the time all of a sudden done, you really don't know how to use them. This is how to own your own television um, station and, you know, 15 years I worked with TCTV, our local public access channel in Olympia, Washington. And it was exciting because I got an opportunity to get trained on all the expensive equipment. I got the opportunity to... Um, uh, use all of their broadcast facilities that cost hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars in order to be able to have a nice professional outcome and to be able to be broadcast on the air. And the really cool thing about it is it costs me like $40 a year to be a member and then for that $40 a year I got all the training, I got to use all the equipment and I got to put on shows and I produced myself personally 
uh, hundreds of shows and participated as a crew member, a co-producer, or a director on well, well over a thousand shows over the period of time that I worked with TCTV. Uh, back then, just owning one camera, we were talking about fifteen to twenty thousand dollars just for a camera. Now we can do something really amazing, the same kind of pr production that we did at TCTV, only we can do it sitting in our home in front of our computer with no additional expense required. And so what we're going to do is we're going to um, talk about, first of all, what you're going to need in order to do this. The first thing you're going to need is a computer with a webcam. Um, if you have a computer that doesn't have a webcam, you can find a fairly decent high-end webcam for about $60. Um, there are cheaper ones, but you're going to want something that's got a few bells and whistles uh, if you don't already have a webcam on your computer. If you do have a webcam on your computer, boom, you're set. Um, you're going to need an internet connection, and obviously all of you who are on this call and experiencing this video, whether it's the recording or whether you're seeing it live, you already have an internet connection. You will need a Google account. Now, I originally got my first Google account as a result of Gmail. I was using it as my backup email and um, because I learned about the dangers of Outlook on my computer, Gmail gave me the option of going, being able to pick up all of my email from all of my different email accounts in one place and have it be safe and not give me any viruses. And I was really excited about that because email is one of the most dangerous things you do on your computer in terms of viruses. So um, I got a Gmail account and I really liked it. And then Google just absolutely took over the internet. Um, not only is it a major search engine, but Google owns YouTube. It has um, Google Plus, which is a um, competing um, social network with Facebook, uh, and um, a number of other amazing things that it's doing. And the brains that they have in the Google Trust are just absolutely amazing in the things that they're able to do and, and how they're able to make computers um, interact with one another and um, so if you don't already have a Google account you should. There are so many other things that we're going to do with Google accounts over time uh, on the cookie cutter group and so getting one now is a really good idea. So simply just go ahead and sign up for a G Gmail account. Um, it's simple. You go to mail, M-A-I-L dot Google dot com and uh, sign in it's a, it's a simple sign up um, and once you're in then you have a lot of other things available to you which we will be discussing here later. You're going to need a YouTube account because you're going to need some place for your videos to go and YouTube because it belongs to Google is partnered in this process uh, of what we're going to show you how to do and so you're going to need that YouTube account. Um, name your channel uh, something that um, is pertinent to your branding, okay? And then um, you're going to need a clean space for a studio. Um, let me just say this about that. You don't need a, a whole dedicated room or anything else like that. As a matter of fact, what I have is I'm sitting um, at my desk. I have a backdrop behind me that we've created. Um, it's actually a green screen that I created for doing a different video project and um, I made it with uh, PVC pipe and uh, cloth and you just basically make the PVC pipe into a big square frame and then you stretch the cloth over it and boom you've got a backdrop. Um, you, you can do the, something with curtains, um, you can get creative and actually create a whole little set um, if you want to and you've got the space and all that, but you don't have to get elaborate. Remembering that what's really important is the content. 
that you're dealing with. Um, you're going to need, um, preferably, a place that doesn't have a lot of outside noise. Uh, my current situation is I'm living in a household with a bunch of grandkids, uh, which is about to change here soon. Um, uh, finally recuperated to the point to where uh, my husband and I are going to, uh, once again, uh, move into our own place and all that kind of cool stuff. And we'll have our own quiet area where we can go ahead and, and do all of our studio stuff. But th the thing is, is have it as quiet as you can because the audio is going to be the most important thing you do. Um, the video, you can do all kinds of bells and whistles and things like that if you like. But the video is really not the focus here. The, the real focus is the audio because people need to be able to hear what you and your guests are saying. You will need a topic and the potential for guests. With this new tool that we're about to show you, you can have up to nine guests besides yourself, which means you could do an entire panel discussion, you could do um, uh, a round table, you could do a debate, you could do a game show. There's all kinds of potential things that you can do with this tool um, in terms of video and each person gets their own little place in the spotlight and you are able to actually determine who gets um, in the limelight and who doesn't. Um, you can uh, cancel out guests if they get too rowdy and cause a problem. You can uh, make a guest a presenter and allow them to, for instance, present their own PowerPoint presentation, um, so forth and so on. So um, you have potential for doing guests. Um, you're
Okay, so obviously you didn't weren't able to see what I was talking about because I had it on a specific presentation. This is where this is Google Plus, all right? And this is my wall in Google Plus, all right? In order to go and start a hangout, you simply go down to the right-hand side and you're going to click on this button that says Hangout. And what it'll do is then it'll bring up this little screen here, okay, which uh, now it's showing me my screen, showing me my screen, showing me my screen. That's what you're seeing in the middle. But it's going to look something like this, and there'll be a thing over here. This says End Broadcast, but what it's going to say is Start Broadcast. When you're ready to start your broadcast, you go ahead and click on that, all right? Down here at the bottom, it's going to show all the people that are in this Hangout. Now, right now, that's just me, but notice when I hover over me, there's a place where I can blank out the video or I can blank out or mute the audio. So you have full control over what anybody in your group is going to do here. All right. Now, I have added some applications to this, and there are a number of apps that you can add. I, you can even obviously add them on the fly. And um, I'm not going to be able to do that because right now I'm showing my screen, so we'll um, go back to people. But um, at any rate, this is, this is what it's going to look like. There is an application called Pro Studio that you can get. This is all free and it gives you an opportunity to designate people as per, um, uh, whether they're going to be on stage. Um, you know, it shows right now that we're streaming live. Um, you can have your people raise their hand that, and say that they want to talk. Okay, so you can, your, your person who is doing, remember we talked about the co-producer? The person that's doing the co-producing can go ahead and be watching this. But also, there is a, the ability to um, uh, see what people are saying and so forth and so on. So it's this really cool um, uh, thing. And there's something called Pro Studio that has some other bells and whistles. Okay, but um, this this one that I'm using is free. It doesn't cost anything, and it can switch you to lower. Okay, allows you to um, to create um, an ID for yourself. So I can say um, A K A the Web Woman. Oops, spell it right. And choose a color. I'll choose green since my background is green. Okay, and then turn it on. All right, and now watch what happens when I go out of my screen share, and there I am with a lower two-thirds ID. I look like the big time, right? <laughs> this is just scratching the surface of what this program can do. Okay, so now I just showed you without having a little co-producer to go in and do the switching in the background, so I'm kind of having to kind of do a little um, dinking around with things live while we're talking. But you can see, you could, you could literally um, do an entire thing all by yourself. It's really good if you can get a co-producer that, that helps you out with this, or if you've got two people that can take turns being the switcher or you know whatever um, there is going th let me tell you about this market and what this can do for you there's going to be a huge shift to this already major networks major television networks that you are aware of are using Google Plus as a tool to do live broadcast from people all over the world. Now, let's talk about what you can do. I'm sitting here in North Carolina. I can have Bernadette from Australia, and I can have my friend Vera in Ireland, 
and I can have my friend Denise who's in Sweden and I can have somebody from California and somebody from Hawaii all on the same call all at the same time on TV live and do an interview with them that is broadcast this is you know I mean this is real TV broadcast on YouTube and people can actually that have YouTube on their television which a lot of people do now have YouTube on their TV they can watch you live on television on YouTube using this what does this mean for your branding what does this mean for your marketing what does this mean for your ability to make commercials to um, cr to do okay, try this one on for size you get together four or five of your most fervent fans if you're a writer if you're a, if you've got a product or whatever people who love you or love your product and whatnot and you do interviews with them about how they use their how they use your product or about when they read your book how they felt about that or any one of a number of those kinds of things how extremely cool is that okay and you can do that at zero cost All right it costs you nothing to have a YouTube account, costs you nothing to have a Google account. They don't charge for this service at all. You can take up to four hours of content. I don't suggest you do that. I suggest that you do it in chunks. But you can take up to four hours at a time on this which means you could literally have your own TV station and have breaking news if you had your hangout established for instance you could have people in your community coming online throughout the day just like you were if you were a radio station or a television station coming online throughout the day and reporting to you what's going on in your community this kind of thing has never been available before this folks right now what's happening right in front of your eyes is breaking news in terms of marketing on the internet because here's the thing when it comes down to Google putting together its algorithms in the search engines who do you think it's going to favor are they going to favor someone who is doing their pre their stuff on their own software and so forth and, and streaming it off of somebody else's server or are they going to favor someone who is using all of Google's tools to create their product you notice there's a little thing up in the um, corner here that says Google Plus is that an ad for them it sure is okay so they get immediate product product placement YouTube has the ability to go ahead and put ads on your programs which by the way you can get paid for okay this is brilliant and it allows you to become a television producer either for yourself or for other people now those of you who have clients that you do things for here is a way to do things for your clients that you could never ever do before okay you can create professional looking um, programming for your clients using this tool how extremely cool is that alright so having said that let's just broadcast okay just a, oops, a few tips. First of all, um, you should promote this everywhere. Okay? You promote it on Facebook, Twitter, press releases, your website. Um, oh, press releases. Get this. If you've got somebody coming on who's a guest, you put out a press release 
saying that your show is going to be on live with fill in the blank, um, a, an author, a speaker, a, an entrepreneur, whatever, and you put out a press release for that, you're going to get the attention of the main media. And your programming could find itself on, in some very interesting places that you never expected being promoted. Um, you should encourage your guests and your, and your viewers to promote. For instance, if I said to you, hey, cookie cutters, this is really good information. Don't you think you should share it with your friends? You have the ability to go and share this on Facebook, on Twitter, so forth and so on. You will find a lot of your people who are on Twitter or on Facebook while they're watching you live are going to be tweeting to their friends saying, hey, I'm on this live show right now watching Bonnie Dillabo interview um, Tim the Toolman Taylor, <laughs> whatever your guest, um, uh, on her show. Come see. And everybody jumps on and goes, oh, you know, they go in and they tweet and they say, hey, I'm, I'm watching this. And what happens is, is you can create a Twitter chain that is absolutely amazing because every so often during your program you say you do your station identification and you say and don't forget to share this with your friends on Twitter and Facebook and then you go on. Um, be sure to promote the recording afterwards. In a very short time when we're done with this program YouTube will automatically put this up on my YouTube channel. As soon as that happens I can put a link to it on YouTube or I can take that YouTube video and embed it in my blog in on my WordPress blog as my vodcast for the week and now I can go ahead and I can promote that link. By the way, Google loves blogs, but what they love even better is blogs that have videos in them. So just a little clue there. You should do a station identification throughout the program. Two or three times during your program, you should say, this is Bonnie Dillabo broadcasting CCTV Live, and we are going to encourage you to send your friends to the cookiecuttergroup.com front slash CCTV hyphen live so that they can join us on this program. Thank you very much. And then you go on with what you're producing and what you're talking about. Um, offer free stuff and discounts for people who watch your show. You know, doesn't a little bribery doesn't hurt anything. Hey, come on and watch this show, and at the end of the show, we're going to tell you how you can get fill in the blank, this free report on so-and-so, or um, free access to some so-and-so's next class, or whatever. You can get really creative with what you're going to give away, but um, uh, what you do is, um, the other thing that you can say is if you're, for instance, let's say you're interviewing somebody who's selling a book. You say, okay, go to your favorite um, uh, go to your favorite bookseller, uh, our dear Amazon, and um, click on, uh, you know, or, or go to, and actually what you would do is you would say, you can see below the player there is a special link. Click here to order your book. And the first 20 people who send me their receipt for purchasing the book will receive a special bonus gift. This could be three chapters of their next book or another ebook that they have that they're just giving away for free just for, you know, whatever the gift is. So you can actually create sales that way. Um, you should always, always remind your viewers to share, to like, and to comment. Okay, now you can see that the way that we're doing this is we're doing it in the cookie cutter group and down below is the comment box. We want people to go ahead and, and ask their questions there. All right. And then those comments are going to show on that page. 
All right. So this is an incredible way to get yourself new viewers and to have people who will view the video next time. By the way, when you're giving out free gifts and you're doing it for the people who are currently watching or whatever, always make sure that there's some kind of a little something for the people who are watching the recording. You know? So, enough said? Okay. So, um, next time, we're going to take questions in a moment, but next time, we're going to talk about using Facebook to promote your business without losing all your friends. Um, and trust me when I say that um, this is a sort of a tricky proposition and uh, you're going to want to know this information. So, okay, so Bernadette likes the logo. Bernadette may be our only person or she's the only one. Oh no, there's, there's Muriel. She's enjoying this platform. Um, any questions? You know, okay, so let me just say this, all right? I could do a two-day boot camp on how to do this and do it professionally, all right? Which I could charge a lot of money for. I There's no way that I can give you in the time that we have available everything that you're going to need to know. But my offer to you is that if you want to do this, I can guide you through the process. All right? Um, the deal is, is there's a lot of you and only one of me. And so what I want is feedback from everyone that would like to learn how to do this. And I will either A, set up a longer class, excuse me, on how to use the various tools, or B, I will set up a private consultation because some people, you know, have some very specific questions about their business and some ideas that they might want to keep proprietary. So either way, I can set up a private consultation or do a class, but I will end up having to charge for that. And it's just, it's just the economics of my time, okay? Um, but happy to do it for you. We will be covering more of this little tips and tricks as we go along um, in the various classes that we're going to do in the future. For instance, um, as we do our next class, if I've learned a new way of doing something for this, I will spill the beans. Uh, I'll give, do about five minutes on our um, hangout tip of the day and um, go from there. Um, so we can learn it slowly or we can learn it quickly or you can just get in and play with it and experiment with it and um, or you, you know your your choice so that's everything that I have today are, are there any other uh, questions if you if there are just put them in the comment box and um, if necessary I can always answer the questions later but it's nice for me to be able to answer those questions on the video so yes no okay so Next week, we're going to be talking about how to use Facebook to promote your business without losing all your friends. I hope that you will join me. I'm really looking forward to being able to do this with you. And I hope that you like this new format better. It, um, I think, is going to be cleaner in the recordings. And um, it's going to be a little bit more dependable because the recordings will be instantly available on YouTube. And then we'll also be putting them on the cookie cutter um, main page as a blog. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope everybody has a fabulous week and we'll see you next week. Take care. Bye.